Good morning, and welcome back to part 2 of this tutorial, in which we focus on crowd generation for iClone 8 and Unreal Engine 5. In this second part, you will learn how to create material variations based on the low poly character that we did in the first part. So we're going to use the ID mask that we created, and then from that ID mask create six different materials. So we can spawn characters with different materials using the crowd generator in iClone 8. Perfect for making crowds appear larger than they actually are. So let's jump right in. So I'm going to assume that you watched the first part of this tutorial where we created this low poly character. Let's rename the generated material name into the same name as our character to keep consistency. Up here to the right, we can save the material and we're going to save it as material plus. Let's hit save here. And then you need to navigate to your custom Relution folder. And then under Media, Material Plus, you can uh, create a crowd folder if you want. And then save it as the character name. And it will appear in your content browser here to the left. Let's right click on the base color texture and then save it. And then do the same thing for the glow texture. Bring them into your favorite photo editor. Select the glow layer and go down to select sampled colors. And I'm first going to start with the shirt here, which is the red color. Let's apply a recolor layer. And I'm going to make this a sort of beige. Then let's do it again. And you don't actually need to have the glow layer enabled. You can just have it selected when you go into the uh, select sampled color. I'm going to select the pants and create a new recolor layer. Let's do like a very dark blue. Then the same thing for the hair. And one thing that you will notice is that when we create like an extreme recolor, it will have a very ugly edge, which we can get rid of by refining the mask. Let's double click on the base color texture and then apply our new base color that we created. So from that texture, we have a completely new character. And then same thing for this material. Let's go up to save material plus and then save this. I'm only doing base color here, but the thing is that you can of course tweak the roughness and the normals you want as well. Let's name this A2 for the second variation of this one and we can quickly have a look at the materials by dragging and dropping them on our character here. Using the exact same technique I'm going to create a third material variation here then save it then a fourth one then let's go back and tweak the textures once again and create a fifth version using the same techniques as I showed you before. Let's save it and then do a green one as well. So now we have six different variations of the same texture using our ID mask. Right, let's jump over to iClone 8. And then under the create menu we're going to go down to create actor group and this will open up this window. Let's change the type to random and then let's drag and drop our actor that we created in CC5. Over here to the right we have the material lists and we can browse for our materials that we created in CC5. Let's select all of them and then hit open. Then we can also assign some uh, animations to this specific character. So I want this to be a um, just idling character, just standing around. So I'm going to select a few idols from the uh, template folder and then assign them here. When you're happy with your selection, let's hit save. And then save this actor group. 
under your Relusion custom folder in project and then actor group. Let's create a new folder called crowd and name this file to crowd underscore man underscore a underscore l1 for lod1 and then idle which is the associated animation. All right, so we're basically done with creating stuff. So let's apply this actor group to the crowd generator. Now you can check this box, deploy with variant materials. You can enable random start frame and loop if you want to do a very long take and then hit deploy actors. For organizing purposes, I'm going to select the top folder called crowd underscore man and then rename it to just crowd. Select the rest of the folders, right click and then merge to collection and then crowd the top one. That will just move all of the actors into just one folder. Now you can move the uh, actors around if you want to have them not go into each other. And here we have the finished result. Now this is just one character of course. So if you do this for like nine or 10 characters, with five or six material variations each, you would in theory have roughly 60 characters. And this is something that I've done for a film that I'm working on right now. And there we have it. As always, I hope you learned something from this tutorial. If you have any questions, let me know down below. If you want to request a special tutorial just for you, you can become a supportive member of the channel where you not only support me as a creator, you also get uh, to request tutorials if you need help with a specific topic. If you liked these tutorials, please give the video a thumbs up as well, it helps me a lot. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.